Lesson 3, Coordinate Geometry, Gradient Formula Theory Prove that the gradient between the points x1, y1 and x2, y2 is given by m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now to do this, we'll need to plot a couple of points. So we'll plot the points here, we'll call this one here, a, x1, y1, this one over here, b, x2, y2. We'll join them up and we'll form a triangle, right angle triangle. Now the gradient is defined to be, which is this m, be the increase in y over the increase in x. Now the increase in y is this distance here which is simply y2 minus y1 and the increase in x is x2 minus x1. So m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. You notice this is the increase here and the increase there. You could have actually had a decrease in y and an increase in x. And if you had that situation, then this would be a negative gradient. So this would be negative, and this one would be a positive gradient. Well, we have another formula to prove, and that is that m is equal to tan theta. So we'll just quickly plot those points again. So we've got the point A, which is the x1, y1 and the b, which is x2, y2, join them up. And remember this one here was y2 minus y1, this was x2 minus x1. It's a right angle triangle. Now this, we take this angle theta, okay, that point there. Now, we can say then that the tangent of this angle is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. And the opposite is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Therefore, m must be equal to the tan of theta. And so if we continue this line down here, so it strikes the x-axis, by a simple geometry, we can see that the angle this line makes with the positive direction of the x-axis is this angle theta. Now you can see in this case here, because the, the gradient was positive, then you'll have an acute angle. If we had it going back the other way, that way with a negative gradient, the positive direction would have this angle here. So we need to work out, um, we've got a negative value. We'll just ignore the negative sign for the moment and get that angle in there and simply subtract that from 180 to get the obtuse angle. So a negative gradient will give you an obtuse angle and a positive gradient will give you the acute angle. Examples 1. Find the gradient between the points minus 1, 3 and 2, 7. Now I'll write down the formula for this. And this m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And what I'll do now, I'll label these little coordinates. I'll make that one x1, y1, and that one x2, y2, just so I don't get confused. Now that would be equal to 7, take away 3, over 2, take away negative 1. Just watch the signs. 7 take away 3 is 4, and 2 take away negative 1 is 3. Alright, the next one. Have a go at this one yourself if you like. Okay, write in the gradient y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. 
labeling the coordinates x1, y1, x2, y2. And that gives me 4 take away negative 2 over negative 1 take away 3. That gives me 4 take away negative 2 is going to be 6. And minus 1 minus 3 is negative 4. And that reduces down to the negative gradient of minus 3 over 2. OK, a little bit harder now. An algebraic type. So m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Labeling these x1, y1, x2, y2. And that gives me a q squared minus a p squared all over 2aq minus 2ap. So we can't just leave it like that. I will take out the a as a common factor. I'll get q squared minus p squared over 2a instead of q minus p. top we factorize q minus p outside of q plus p all over 2a into q minus p of course now what happens these go out and these go out and you get this result q plus p or p plus q B plus Q over 2 is your final answer. OK, now in this one we have to find the angle the line joining 1, 3 and 2, 3 plus root 3 makes with the positive direction of the x-axis. I'll just uh, plot these points approximately. Don't be that accurate with it. So 1, 3 is going to be about this 1, make that 1 there, and there. And uh, 3 is about 1, 2, 3 here. And 2 and 3 plus root 3 is going to be, say, somewhere up here. OK, so there are the points. And we're going to join that like that. And we want this angle here. So that's the positive direction in that way. Positive direction going this way. Negative direction going the other way. So that's the angle we're after. OK, so clearly we need the gradient. So m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which equals this one here, 3 plus root 3, minus 3, all over 2 take away 1, because that gives me the square root 3. Now we know the other formula, we know m equals the tan of theta. Therefore, the tan of theta must be equal to root 3. Now, either using the calculator or knowing the fact that the inverse tan of root 3, oops, is equal to 60 degrees. This angle in here is 60 degrees. OK, the final example. We have to find the acute angle between the two lines that have gradients root 3 and negative 1. So let's just draw these lines. So root 3, the positive gradient, reasonably steep. It doesn't matter where you put these. So m1 equals, just make sure there's a positive gradient. And the other one, m2, negative 1. Negative 1. So 
We need to find the acute angle, we'll call that one theta. And to get that, I need this angle here, we'll call that one, say, alpha, and we'll call that one there, say, beta. Now we know that the gradient formula m equals tan of alpha. We know that tan of alpha is equal to root 3. And from our previous example, we know the inverse tan of root 3 is 60 degrees. So this one's 60. Now the other one, the tan of beta, must be 2 minus 1. So beta equals the inverse tan of minus 1. And if you do that in your calculator, you'll get minus 45 degrees. Now clearly that's not minus 45 degrees. There's your minus 45 down there. So we need to find that angle there. So clearly it'll be just the um, supplement of 45 degrees and that one there is 135. Because obviously this is going to be 45 in here. Now from simple geometry we know that the exterior angle of a triangle must be equal to the sum of the two interior opposite angles. So we know that theta plus alpha must be equal to beta. So theta plus 6 degrees must equal 135 degrees. So theta is equal to 135 minus 60, which gives me 75 degrees as the acute angle between the two lines. Now we are doing another coordinate geometry section in the green ones, the uh, harder ones, and you'll be given a formula, or will derive a formula for working this out.